Hey everybody, how are you today? This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades and also your intentional happiness enthusiast. Woo woo! How are you today? Oh my gosh, how are you today? What have you done today for your soul, for your mind, for your body, and for your business? Wow. What have you done today? What have you done today for you? What have you done today for other people? <sighs> I am in constant need of letting go and surrendering and trusting because as we all know, time flies and we all have so many things going on and sometimes it can be overwhelming. Whew, trust me, trust me, trust me. Sometimes life and sometimes things can be overwhelming, but thank God we can let it go. Listen to those crazy thoughts, send them away, tell them go away, and we can shift quickly our attitude because as my mentor Steve Jennings says, our attitude is pretty much the only thing that we have control over. We can't control what other people say. We can't control what other people do. We can't control the weather. We can't control um, the news. We can't control anything but ourselves. So when we start to go crazy and out of control in our own self, take a moment, take a moment, take a moment. and. Take a deep breath, feel whatever's going on, and just let it go. Hey, JS. Hey, David. Hey, Dana. Hey, Monica. Hey, Donald. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Naz. Welcome to Lab Therapy, where you can come and just hang out and dance, cry, sing. Just come in the name of love and come in the name of peace. No egos, no attitudes, just we are all one in this universe. So, hey, JS, how are you? So what is emotional freedom technique? Emotional freedom technique is also known as EFT for short and also TAPI for short. And so you can just tap, um, here is a little chart of all the tapping points on the face and body. And um, you can tap these points and, and just tap those points using affirmations. Um, that's one way of doing tapping. Or, or you can do a longer version of tapping in circumstances when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or you have pain going on. So like for me right now, we are having a uh, party at my house tomorrow. And so we've done some major spring cleaning and reorganizing. It used to be angels all back here, but now it's family pictures. And my angels got all moved over to that cabinet over there, which is um, good because sometimes you need change. I had I, I'm, I, you know, I'm a work in progress as we all are, and sometimes change is the hardest thing. So, it's been a long time since we've changed up all the tchotchkes in the house, and so um, we had to declutter a bunch of stuff because uh, we're having a nice event here tomorrow, and we're very excited. But also, even when things exciting are happening, it could be overwhelming and it could be stressful and so trust me I woke up this morning and I put on my guided meditation that I always listen to um, by Bob Proctor and then I listened to some tapping on miracles and then I did some tapping on abundance um, with uh, I think his last name is Yates uh, on YouTube. And then every morning, Monday through Friday at 7.30, my mentor, Revel Rivetti, um, we do a live uh, tapping on affirmations for abundance and for confidence. And I always put it on my timeline as soon as she starts. So you could follow along. 
long. I highly recommend it. We've been doing it for over um, two years now and magical things have been happening for everybody. If anything, just um, feeling more confident and calm is huge. It's huge. It's huge. So basically the long version of tapping, this is called the karate chop point. And so you do something called the setup statement and you repeat it three times. So you can say, uh, this is an example of a set it statement. Even though I have this anxiety and I don't know why I feel so crazy in my head and I feel like it's spinning and on a scale of one to 10, it's probably like, probably like seven. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So you say the setup statement and you could say whatever you want, but uh, at the end, even, you have to start it by saying, even though I feel this or even though I have this, blah, 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 I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So even though I have this pain, even though I have this fear, even though I have this anxiety, even though I have this blood pressure, even though I have this toe pain or ankle pain or whatever pain I have or emotional thing I have, you do the setup statement on the karate chop point three times. So even though I have this anxiety, my head feels like it's spinning, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then you tap the points. So the first point is the eyebrow point. So this anxiety. And make sure that you breathe and really breathe and feel feel it leaving you. Just saying, hey, Rebel, welcome. I am explaining what tapping is, and I invited everybody to watch you every morning at 7.30. I'm doing the long version because I'm feeling anxious. We're having a party here tomorrow. So I, I explained the karate chop point and how, how we want to do the setup statement three times. So even though I have this, so we're, now we're going through the points. First point is the eyebrow point, so this anxiety. Then the side of the eye, this anxiety. <sighs> make sure you breathe, make sure you breathe. And it, it's probably good sometimes to take the glasses off because the next point is actually right here. And sometimes you can miss it if you have glasses on. So this anxiety, this fear, whatever I've got going on. So we've got this point, this point, then under eye point, then under the nose point, this fear, this anxiety, this stress that's in my body. I'm going to let it go and surrender and just trust and know all is going to be well. This is the chin point. So under the nose, chin. Then you've got this point here, which is... It's actually kidney 27 point. It's actually a good idea. You could do it with your right hand. You could do it with your left hand. You could do it with both hands. You could do it like this. There's no right or wrong. If you don't get it in the right order, it doesn't matter. So you can do these points here. This is very good. And then you do these points here. They call it under, this is the bra strap for the women. Um, here, look, my, my <laughs> crystals are good today dangling in there. So this is a another the second to the last point that you want to do. It's actually a spleen point. This is a really amazing spleen point. So even just doing that can help with your immune system and with digestion. Make sure to breathe. And then the last point is on the top of the head. This fear, oh, I forgot to say, this fear, this anxiety, all the stuff that's going on. So you want to do that round just twice. So you do the karate chop point three times, the setup statement three times. You want to get in detail as much as possible. You want to give it a, a feeling, a color on a scale of one to ten, how intense it is. is it? Is there a story behind it? Like even though I have this anxiety and... Like I said, it feels like a seven, and oh, if I think of a color, it would be brown. And you know, you just want to give as much detail just to release it. And so, let me see if <laughs> good Anya, beautiful jewelry. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All tangled up. Ugh, don't look. <laughs> so, um, that is the sequence for the long version of doing the tapping. So the karate chop point, 
this point, this point, this point, this point. You want to tap about six, seven times this point here, here, and then on top of the head. And you want to do that twice. Then you take a deep breath and see how you feel. You always want to stop and see how you feel. And then you can repeat it again. So uh, you can repeat either the series again or you could start again repeating from the whole way. And if for some reason you don't notice any difference at all, which is quite unusual if you wouldn't, there's even more points that you can do. So there's the point here and then on all your fingers, except for this one, and then here. And then you end it with this gamut point here that they call it. And there's some crazy things that you do at the end with you rolling your eyes and looking up and turning around and turning the other way and humming, um, humming happy birthday. And then, it's quite strange. I tell you, tapping is, looks weird, is somewhat weird in the beginning because it just always, you know, what am I doing? So. Uh, it says, Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT, is an alternative psychotherapy that seeks to This is, okay, here it is. Let me read this again because I, I got disconnected with saying I didn't have uh, connection. Sorry if, if I'm repeating. Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT, is an alternative psychotherapy that seeks to manipulate the body's energy field by tapping on acupressure points while focusing on a specific thought. EFT suggests that the cause of all physical symptoms and negative emotions is a disruption in the body's energy system. EFT can help to resolve emotional, mental, and physical issues in a matter of minutes. The procedure is very simple and there is no harmful side effects. No harmful side effects. So um, EFT involves finger tapping on ancient Chinese acupuncture points. The tapping stimulates these points in a gentle, non-invasive way and releases energy blockages that hold strong stress and anxiety-related emotions. The illustrations on the right indicate the specific acupressure points that should be tapped or rubbed firmly. And I told you what the points are, but I'll let you look at that. And if you want to take a picture, You'll see where all the points are. Um, let's see. Use both hands to tap points on the left or right side of the face and body. While you are tapping, concentrate on the issues that is bothering you. Repeat the purpose, which is detailed below. So, um, yeah, that is what tapping is. And I've been doing it now for about four or five years. I'd say at least four years or five years because I, I know I started it when I first started teaching Zumba because um, I don't know how I found tapping actually somehow um, Gary Craig is the founder of tapping and he has a website and a tutorial where um, it does have side effects calmness relief relaxation release of old oh those are positive side effects Miss Revel <laughs> we love those side effects yes 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 so um, Gary Craig is the founder of, um, of uh, EFT, and he has a website called emofree.com. Or you can go to Revels, Ravetti's website, bodaciousliving.com, and she has a 16-minute uh, tutorial on tapping. So Revel is my mentor and friend who I've been tapping with for over two years now. We met on um, Blab and uh, Periscope way back when, and now just for two years we've, she's been doing, and I've been following her doing affirmations, which are amazing, life-changing, confidence. Um, we all see the results when we do this crazy thing called tapping. Thank you, Revel, for posting that, and maybe put your website as well. So, bodaciousliving.com. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rebel. Yay. I swear, it looks silly. It looks crazy, but it works. I, you can just, you know, if you're just feeling anxious in general, like if I can't remember something and I'm feeling real spacey and scattered, I, all I have to do is tap here, take some deep breaths, and it usually calms me down. You can even just tap here. 
Take some breaths, calms you down. I'm actually feeling a little bit better. Sorry, uh, Jaleesa, I'll call you back in two seconds. <laughs> um, so please, please, please um, do this tapping. Do this tapping for yourself. Do this tapping for your mind to get rid of all the crazy monkey mind stuff that we have going on. Um, like, like I said, when I first started teaching Zumba, I was so anxious, I would literally throw up before class. And so that's when I discovered tapping and it really made a huge difference. And then I went and took a training and um, someday I'm gonna get certified. I just haven't had time yet, but um, I, I'll end it with this, which is a hashtag I use. Invest in yourself. Learn what your passion, invest in yourself to grow yourself. Learn what you're passionate about and then go and teach somebody else. That's the secret to success. <laughs> you know, when I hear people say it looks weird, I have to think of people with cigarettes in their mouths, inhaling carcinogenic drugs and smoke. Now that looks weird. You're right. <laughs> and I've heard you say that before. I know, but <laughs> I saw, you know, tapping when people don't know what you're doing can be perceived as a little interesting. So, but I don't care. I don't care. Be a rebel. Rebel, be a rebel. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Welcome. Courtney, um, Shelburne over there in the house. Um, she is the newest therapist at Oasis Palisades and she gives the most amazing massage. So let me should give her a huge plug. Um, invest in yourself to grow yourself. Learn what you are passionate about and teach others. Amen. 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 <sighs> and the other thing and the last thing is go and tell somebody that you love that you're thinking about them. Never forget to tell your friends and your mentors, Rebel, I love you. Courtney, I love you. Whoever's still here hanging out with me, I love you. Never forget to tell your friends how grateful you are and that you love them because you never know when some, you know, they, they may be gone or you may be gone or you never know in life what happens. So tell your people that you love them. Bye, Rebel. See you on Monday. Yes. Um, tell people that you love them and that you appreciate them. And you never know how that can make somebody's day. I've had it happen to me when people randomly, you know, tell me they appreciate me. It really makes a big difference. It really encourages us to keep going and do it what we're doing because sometimes you know we get busy and we get stressed out but you know got to do the tapping and letting go and telling people that we love them that's what's most important all right i love you peace out now go and give someone else an awesome day Mwah.